Hey everyone, welcome to the fourth ventilator video. This one's gonna be about non-invasive positive pressure ventilation. So before I show you how to set it up on the actual NV ventilator, I'm gonna take you through how these pressures work on your patient. So to start, the mode that we're gonna be looking at on the ventilator is called NPPV CPAP slash PSV. So what do all those letters actually stand for? So NPPV is gonna be non-invasive positive pressure ventilation, meaning that the patient is not intubated they'll have a mask strapped to their face. CPAP is continuous positive airway pressure, and then PSV is going to be pressure support ventilations. So here's a graph to kind of explain how these pressures are working on your patient. So the PEEP, or you could call it the expiratory positive airway pressure, or the CPAP, they're all gonna represent the same thing here, that's gonna be present all the time. So you can see it's at baseline, it's during inhalation, and it's during exhalation. So what about the PSV or the IPAP, the inspiratory positive airway pressure? That's only gonna be present during inhalation. And this is gonna represent the pressure above the PEEP that we set. So you can see it's represented by the green here. So if you have a PEEP of five and a PSV of five, that would equate to 10 over five, since remember our PSV is our pressure above PEEP. So to drive that point home, PSV plus the PEEP is gonna be your inspiratory positive airway pressure, and just your PEEP by itself is going to be your expiratory positive airway pressure. So here's one more graph to show you how this works. Your PEEP is present all the time, but then when you add the PSV of six, you'd get 12 over six. So now let's go over here and look at the actual ventilator itself. So we're gonna choose non-invasive ventilation and then ventilate. So this is gonna give you a lot of alarms if it's not immediately hooked up to the patient. So you may, you may wanna have the mask very close to their face. So let's look at our PSV and our PEEP here. So we had it set to three and three. So now I'm gonna set it to five and five. So that would give us a setting of 10 over five because remember the inspiratory positive airway pressure is the PSV plus the PEEP and then the PEEP gives us our expiratory positive airway pressure. That's how you set the FiO2. Right now I just have it on room air. So let's make a minor adjustment here and just go through the math one more time. So if I go ahead and click on my PSV and I'm going to bring that up to six and then I bring my PEEP up to six as well, that would be 12 over six. So that's it for this video guys. I wanna thank everybody for watching and thank Joel for being the guinea pig as always. I hope you enjoyed this, I hope it was helpful. And I'll see you guys for event video number five. So tired trying to see from behind the red in my